how to use the wall area tool in Square Takeoff. To do this, first you'll need to set a scale. We can see that we've already set our scale because of the blue indication line. Once our scale is set, we're now ready to proceed. Let's go ahead and start with our linear measurement. With our linear measurement, we want to calculate out the total wall area for bedroom 3. Let's say, for example, we're wanting to calculate out the total wall paint. Let's enter a name. Let's now select our linear type. And for this example, let's use wall area. Once we select it, it'll ask us for our wall height. It'll also ask us for the number of wall sides that we'd like to calculate. For example, for wall paint, we may only want to calculate one side. If we were calculating drywall, for example, we may want to apply the drywall to both sides of the wall, therefore asking us to enter two for the number of wall sides to apply. That would give us the total square footage based off of two wall sides. For this example, once again, we only want to calculate one side. We can enter a wall width if we'd like, which is optional. We can select a linear color, and we can also select a price per square foot. When ready, select the start button. Let's go ahead and measure around the whole interior of this bedroom three and closet. And there we go. We can now hit stop takeoff and goes, we can see that we have a total of 574 square feet. Thank you for watching how to use the wall area tool with Square Takeoff. To learn more or to watch other how-to videos, visit www.squaretakeoff.com for more information.